Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making flourless pancakes. We're going to be using all this stuff. We're going to whack it in there. We're going to use this to whiz it up good. Whack it in a pan. It's going to taste brilliant. So, let's get on with it. Chop it all up. make sure we've got all the right kit. So we're going to need all of these ingredients just there. This funny little frying pan, piddly little thing. What to whiz it all up in. And an electric whizzer. Now you can use one of these if you like, but only if you really hate yourself. So, right, let's get into it then. Um, kind of occurred to me that it'd be a good idea if we did it together. So, um, this is what we got. We got our four eggs, three eggs there, four eggs. One, nice, there you go. And uh, we're going to have two tablespoons of your cinnamon, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. This is important because with this, this is going to give you the fluffiness. There we go. A teaspoon of psyllium husk. Like that. Finally, not finally, 100 grams of mascarpone cheese. 60 grams of butter, chopped into cubes, so it's going to blitz up all nice. Is it? Oh, and this. So you want two tablespoons of your sweetener. It's going to give it a nice sweetness. And also overcome the baking powder as well. So then, if you want to use this, you can. No, rubbish. We're going to use this instead. Bliss it up, no time to go. Right then, that's done. So try it before you put it in anything because if you put salt in it, it's going to taste like rubbish. Tastes good. Also, you should have this brain consistency. That's good. Not chocolate milkshake, it's because it's got cinnamon in it. Right then, let's whack it in our little playtime saucepan. And cook it up. Cool. And then we've got a few on the go already, but uh, let's grab another spoon, throw it in there. Should get about 12 out of it. Uh, depends how you're doing. If you're doing super thin, you might get 15. If you're doing super thick, you get 5. Piled up nice. Now, all we got to do is add an extra little bit to it. Throw a little bit of the old uh, honey in there. Come on, honey. Just to sweeten things up a touch. Nice. Get it all oozing over the side there. Tripping off. Lovely. About a tablespoon on there. Two if you're feeling naughty. Chuck a few blueberries out there. Stick them on the top. Raspberries, blueberries. Any of those berries, good for keto. Probably about 25 grams, something like that. These are like super small. Hmm, super nice. And that's it. So, if you like what you see, bash your like button. If you want to see more, click this button here. If you want to see another one of my Ace videos, click that one just there. Leave some comments in the comments if you want to. And we'll see you next time.